Hey everybody, this uh, video that I'm uh, posting is a uh, climb I did back in 2010 uh, with a good friend of mine from Powell named Jan and we climbed the highest peak in Wyoming at 13,804 feet and that is Gannett Peak. Uh, when I, I had only been doing hiking peak bagging about two years and Gannett was a huge challenge for me at the time. Uh, there were a lot of firsts for me during this trip. It was my first ever multi-night backpacking trip. I had done single overnighters on Trout Peak, Cloud Peak, uh, but never had done anything more than a couple nights, or more than one night, and, and this was a five-day trip with uh, four nights. Uh, it was also my first trip ever getting to see glaciers and uh, crevasses, uh, some really cool, this is, it's unbelievable to stand next to a big gaping black hole that goes down many, many feet. You know, you see it on the Discovery Channel on the Everest documentaries, but until you stand next to one and look down, you haven't experienced it. They're pretty amazing. Uh, it was also my first time climbing with crampons and an ice axe. And so that was kind of fun. I took to crampons very well for my first trip. I climbed the entire peak unroped without any trouble. Uh, I did, there's one section on the way up where you cross the, uh, the Bergschrund between kind of the glacier and then the couloir above it. And uh, there's a little uh, snow bridge that uh, crosses that and it eventually falls down usually later every summer. And I was unroped and stepped out onto it and put my right hand ice axe through the snow bridge, which was a little terrifying. Uh, so I scooted a little to my left and proceeded to climb over it and I uh, got to the top and of the peak eventually and there was a guide up there with that had some clients and he was like, dude, are you the guy that crossed the snow bridge without ropes? That was gnarly, man. I was like, yeah, I did. <laughs> Jan and I roped up on the way down uh, just to be safe while that's uh, coming down through that spot. Uh, it's an absolutely great climb though. Uh, it was my first time being in the real heart of the Wind River Range. I had I had done a little bit in the northern part, uh, climbing Arrow Mountain, kind of up to Arrow Pass on the Glacier Trail, but never had gone far deep into the winds. And it's still my favorite place in the world. I love it. Um, it was also my first state high point, which was kind of cool, and uh, that was that was quite quite amazing. It's the only spot in the world that you can look down on the top of the Grand Teton, which is. Uh, an entire 34 feet lower, way off to the west, and I can see it in the distance. So uh, uh, that's uh, that's the trip. Um, my video that I made way back then, I was shot with a digital camera, so excuse some of the, the quality issues. The uh, music soundtrack you hear is uh, made by a band, of, it was an instrumental heavy metal band that I was in uh, back in the uh, kind of latter half of the first decade of the 2000s uh, called Settle in Silence and we played a lot of uh, pretty heavy fun music. I wrote most of the songs um, and uh, played played electric guitar for it. So uh, most of that soundtrack, all, I, th I think all the soundtrack is uh, from that band. So hopefully you enjoy that. This is the Gannet Peak Climb from 2010. Hello everyone, this is day one of Jan and Tim's Gannett Peak trip. Worst mosquitoes we've ever seen. And so we are getting in the tent for the night. Jan is already in the tent and is enjoying it immensely. You can see mosquitoes all over the place pretty nasty but the lake view is good and we had a good first day so uh, until tomorrow
this uh, evening too. Up again, Peak Adventure. And this is our camp. We have a really nice creek right at Morning Water next to us. It comes from the glaciers up there. Sorting crap for tomorrow. It's gonna be pretty crazy. Got some sunset going on on the peak. The big east sentinel over there. And then looking in on the route, we're gonna go around the bottom and up behind that thing. And then up the snowfield and then across that snowfield and up the left couloir and then up to the top. So it's gonna be epically crazy. Probably the hardest climb I've ever done. But it's beautiful up here, absolutely gorgeous. We got a couple people who may have climbed today. Let's see if you can see them in there. I'm gonna be talking to them in a minute. So, saying good night. See you tomorrow. Good morning. It's day three of Jim. Jim. Gannett Peak Adventure. I'm getting ready. Awesome adventure, dude. We are uh, getting ready to go for the summit. It's a little after about 4.15 a.m. We both slept like not that great. I probably got two hours total. And there's a mosquito right there. Die. Killed about a million of his friends yesterday. Jan is working on his feet. <coughs> and he's gonna go boil some tea and make his oatmeal and then uh, we will get down on the rocks. There's a group of three ahead of us, you probably can't see him, but they've got headlamps on and it looks like they're already climbing. So we decided we definitely want to be able to see where we're going, so we're going to wait to get all the hard stuff till it's at least light. So that's it. Hey everyone, and we're uh, approaching the beginning of the uh, snow on Gannett. You can make a up there. Pretty uh, awesome view. All the way around, out to the sunrise. Jan's a little behind me, I'll be coming up here shortly. We're getting ready to start the fun stuff. Hey, it's me, we're, I'm on the final summit ridge here. Look at this view. It just doesn't get much better than that. This has been absolutely awesome. And uh, yeah, it's gonna be awesome standing up there. So I'll see you at the summit. Greetings from the top of the state of Wyoming, Gannett Peak, 13,804 feet. It is absolutely awesome up here. I've got the summit to myself. Looking back down our approach route, all the way up there through that drainage and then up. And then this is uh, the big peaks of Wyoming right here. You can see 
GM making his way up the snow slope right there. I'll be here at about 20 to 30 minutes. And, uh, the rest of the state view straight down. Downtown Econ Road is somewhere. As the storm goes through, hopefully they'll pass us. Wait till we get off of here. New York is across there. Lots of snow still out there. So absolutely amazing climb. It was pretty spectacular. I am beyond happy. video. So we are, we just finished coming off the end. This is the snow bank we just climbed down. It's, it's steep. And this is the infamous bird run. And so there's a snow bridge here. And pretty much you get the heck on and get off. It's uh, exciting. Once this collapses, climbing the peak becomes pretty difficult. So if you fall in, it's a wild ride. So enjoy. Well, hello everyone. We are uh, relaxing at camp after a successful climb. Jan's cleaning his crampons. Our campsite, pretty much an enjoyable day. <laughs> Jan's gone crazy. The altitude got to him a bit. I'm a little bit worried to sleep tonight, but. We'll leave the crampons outside. <laughs> we'll leave the crampons outside. That's good. Good morning. It's day number four. Jan's blister problem has uh, caused him to decide to cut his boots all up. So he is uh, sawing away and making giant holes in his boots. So it is a absolutely beautiful morning. See the uh, route we climbed yesterday. We'll see our tracks up there. Oh yeah! The boat is now better, better. So we're gonna get on the trail today. Hopefully, do some 13, 14 miles with our giant packs. So we're out tomorrow finally. Up. It's been a good trip. Good evening, day four of our excellent adventure. Our campsite, getting the live on mosquito, just tied the food up in the tree. Our camp below Phillips Lake at this nice little campsite. We got Phillips Creek running here. Jen killing mosquitoes in the tent. Every time we open the door, we're in about six or seven. So, final night. It's been a long day and we're tired, so. Morning, day five 
of the Gannet Peak Adventure with Gian. And uh, I left the camp earlier this morning, flying to the summit of Peak 11696, which is right behind me. I'm not on it at the moment because it's blowing wind like crazy, but I'll do a panoramic shot here. Shot of Arrow Mountain. And I'm looking back there to the main objective of our trip, which is Gannet there. So, it's going to get loud here on top, so we'll do a camera and video. Looking over to Down Mountain. Well, I hope you enjoyed that video about my uh, Gannet Peak trip. Uh, it was just an amazing climb, and uh, probably it's one of the. It was definitely the first, but one of the only summits I've ever been to where I was just emotionally overwhelmed when I got to the top. It was uh, just the amazing views, the difficulty of the climb. Uh, you hike in for two full days thinking about the route, thinking about, you know, what's it going to be like? Will I do well with crampons? Will I have good weather? Uh, will the snow be good? Um, and everything just worked perfectly. I was so lucky. You know, success rate on that mountain is between 30 and 35 percent. I met many climbers on my way out that had, were in there for their fourth, fifth. One guy was even in on his eighth attempt to get that summit. So I was, I was super, uh, super lucky to get at that time. Uh, probably still my favorite mountain of all time. It's just just an amazing peak. So um, thinking about making a trip back this this summer for it. Well, again, we'll see what happens. So uh, if you enjoyed the video, please uh, smash that subscribe button and uh, leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. Thank you so much for watching.